Our next step is how to draw an arc on the screen. An arc is a bit more complex than an ellipse. We have to add just a few more things in order to get an arc to work over working with an ellipse. Now in this case I've taken our original program and I've modified it the following ways. I've added blue. Straightforward, remember here's red, green, and blue, and I've got a full 255, so that means that I've got a blue color. Next up, I've also added pi. If I'm going to work with arcs, I have to work with radians, and radians are all in terms of pi. So I've gone ahead and created a brand new variable called pi here, and set it equal to 3.14159, blah, 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 and I've got that set up. The code to draw the arcs is all right here and it is really similar to the code to draw an ellipse in fact or a rectangle in fact we will go ahead and end up drawing a rectangle around this here in a bit and it has the same first starting parameters I've got the screen that I'm drawing on I've got the color in this case I'm drawing four different arcs and I'm color coding them green black red and blue so we can figure out which line of code goes with which arc that I've drawn the arc will be contained in a rectangle. In this case, the rectangle's upper left corner starts at 100, 100. So this has got the x, y, and the width and height of that rectangle that the arc will be contained in. Now the more complex part will be the start and end angle of the arc in radians. This is the start angle this is the end angle in radians. You can go online and look up where radians are. I've got example code right here that kind of gives you a bit of an idea and I'll go ahead and jot it out when we run the program. Here are a set of four arcs. They are contained within the box that we specified down here. Right here is the 100-100 coordinate we've got a width of 250 we have a height of 200 the start end points for the angles are specified in radians down here our black starts at 0 and goes up to pi over 2 the green one right here is pi over 2 going to pi and pi is right over here Next up is the blue, which goes from pi to 3 times pi over 2. So we have 3 pi over 2. And the last one is the red arc, which goes from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. Working with arcs can be complex, not just because of the working with radians, but the positioning is difficult. With this red arc that's all the way down here, the position that we give it is the top left corner of the box that it's in, which is all the way over here. To place the red arc here, the position is 100-100. It takes a lot of planning ahead of time in order to be able to figure out where to put those arcs. If you want to create a squiggly line, you need an arc like this, then an arc like this, and maybe another arc going down here like this, and then another arc like this. It takes a bit of effort to figure out what box you would put this in for an ellipse this would probably be a box in over here and to lay out the line so that it appears the way you're looking for a wavy line one of the more difficult challenges to do I've had several students do it not impossible at all but it does require a little bit of forethought to be able to put it together there's your explanation on how arcs work inside of Pygame